Hi crafters, it's Jenny here from the Ivy Bridge Crafters. For our first video, we're going to be creating some Valentine's hearts. Um, there's a couple and we're going to make them into like a nice string. It's like a light pink. Um, and everybody's going to receive a different size cookie cutter in their packs. Also, you're going to receive two needles because I know how much you like to break them. <laughs> and a foam pad for setting your cookie cutter and felt onto. You'll also receive a selection of different colours from reds to pink um, felt. So the best thing to do is get some of your felt and roll it up into like a, a ball there. You want to set it into the cookie cutter like that. Keeping your needle straight up and down like this in a motion you need to stab the wool. To avoid your fingers just hold the edge of your cookie cutter and hopefully that will guide you to felt round the inside of the cookie cutter. So you want to basically get as much of this in as possible. And remember to watch that when that comes in. So we're just going to felt it into a nice heart shaped heart. So pull in any of the, there we go. And this is why I gave you two needles, just in case you get a breakage when you hit the plastic. It's okay hitting the foam because it cushions the needle. And as you can hear, it makes a lovely crunchy noise as you felt your heart. So now that I've done that, I just want to pick it up and turn it. And the reason I turn it is as you can see, it gets stuck to the foam mat. So you need to do that a few times and remember to do that. It's quite an important step actually because you end up with half your sponge attached to your felted heart. So you just keep on felting, like I say, keep your needle upright like that and a nice, and just keep on going round and round it. It's quite nice. It's a nice stress relieving feeling. It's good for the well-being. I mean, obviously it takes time, but you just keep on going. The more you stab, the more felted it becomes and the harder the material will come at the end. So again, just remember every so often you need to just put the needle down, pick the cookie cutter up. And like you can already see, it's becoming a heart shape and you just want to turn it around to stop that stickiness. And the more regular you do that, the better. So every month I plan on basically um, making up a kit and posting it into the iMag, um, Ivy Bridge magazine. So on a monthly basis the kit would come with an iMag for you to give you some written instructions on how to make your project if you would prefer to do it that way. And then that way you've got a choice of watching the video or just reading the instructions off the iMag. He does a lovely layout for me. I started doing that back in um, October was my first one I did. And I thought what a good way of combining my videos with the iMag instructions. Again, as you can see, it's getting more and more thick, thinner, but lovely and, and a bit more thicker feeling 
again put my turn it round and put it back in the thing so just keep on going basically just keep on going with your, your heart My plan also, um, while we're doing the, the kits, is that each kit for £15 a month, you'll receive your main kit, which is um, the kit will be put into the iMag. And then I'll do a little special free gift one as well. So it'll be a smaller project that we can do together as well. And I will do a video on that. I will also post some pictures and a how to make instructions onto our group um, that we've got for the craft box that I've added you all to. Also, because you've signed up this month, I've actually entered you all into a raffle. So I'll be pulling the numbers for the raffle shortly. And you will receive a variety of goodies, um, which will include some tools of the trade, really. Um, what you need for some of your craft projects that are important to your craft projects. And you will need for future craft box issues um, that will be available soon. So I'm looking forward to a monthly basis of making you a new craft box. And actually, I've got some lots and well, lots of ideas for you as well. Um, I'm already thinking. I've got like four months of craft boxes already in my head. What we're gonna do together, um, including like I say, many projects that I think would be fun together. Um, so yeah, I would hope that you enjoy the project that we're doing. So as you can see, the heart's almost finished now. While I've been talking so it doesn't take long to make these hearts it's quite a nice little project like I say it's quite therapeutic and actually the results are a bit like really fun so if I stop now I'll take the as you can see it's a nice heart shape I've got it pretty good with the um cookie cutter there so my ish my what I thought would be nice is there's one I made earlier <laughs> And here's a little one I made earlier, and then I've got another little one. So what I was going to do, in your craft kit, I've actually put it in beside your mini kit to keep it safe, is you will find a gold needle. I've lost mine already. Look, that's not good, is it? Typical. <laughs> Give me a minute, I'll look in my toolbox. Can't all go right in first session, can I? So everybody will have a gold um, needle there. It's got quite a nice big eyelet in it. And you've got some um, embroidery thread. So we're just going to put that into the needle. There we go, like that. I've actually tied a knot at the top of mine. I might have made a little loop previously. So I'm just going to put... As you can see, the needle through the heart and come out the other side. Not very straight, but there we go. And then my, I've lost my thing. Let's like say first video, fun times. Then I'm going to put my bigger heart through, try and get it in the middle instead of going wonky like I just did. And then that brings that one through. And then again, your other heart there. So hopefully I've given you enough felt to make. Hmm, I don't know. It depends on the size of heart I've given you as well, actually. But I would like to think you can make quite a few little hearts. And then that leaves you with a nice little heart. I'll put it against there and move my camera up a bit so you can see. So it's like a nice little heart garland you've got there. And you just tie it off at the bottom. And then hopefully, if you just 
tie a knot or put the or thread it through the heart again just to sort of seal the bottom there or stop them slipping off so that's my first video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you like the garland i made um, um, should push it up there for valentine's day obviously i went with a valentine's theme because it's that time of the year so thank you for watching and hopefully you'll enjoy it and speak to you soon thank you very much for watching